Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Dun 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 dun. dun. Or whatever. Let me start that again. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Dun dun dun. That was lame. Anyway, uh, I am gonna play some uh, Universe Sandbox 2 today. Because it's awesome! But, I wanted to do a quick rundown on my Steam library here. Um, let's see, I've got all of these games. A lot of them are uh, old DOS games that I used to play when I was, like, five. <laughs> Just, we had this really awesome old DOS computer, and I had a bunch of these games. Not full versions of them, because they were shareware or whatever. Yeah, we couldn't afford to get the full ones, and we just got the little uh, demos. But now I have the full games, and I've had them for a long time, and I just haven't uh, gotten around to playing them. Like the Commander Keens, I love these games, and Bio Menace was one of my favorites. Um. Anyway, I wanted to show off this uh, the 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 library of my games. So, anybody in the comments, if you want to post a post a game that you want to see me play, um, and I'll try to get around to it. Uh, I don't like to take up my brother's games here, they're shared, um, <laughs> but I will if you guys want to see me play any of these. Now as for uh, Sorian, an awesome game, but my computer won't run it. I don't know if it's uh, the graphics are too high or whatever, and there's not much of an option to um actually optimize it uh you have like foliage draw distance and that's it <laughs> so there's not much of a method of um controlling lag and my computer will run any of these but it will not run Sorian you can move and that's about it um but I would love to play it if it does get to be more optimized in the future. It is very early access. It just came out last week. Or a week and a half ago, something like that. But I've had it pre-ordered for, for for a long time. And I've been uh, watching the progress of the game developers for literal years. So I was very excited when that finally came out. And my computer won't do it. But anyway, let's get back into Universe Sandbox, and let's go play. Ooh, uh, my audio may be a little too high, actually. Let me see if I can fix that real fast. Because the music might be a bit too loud. Uh, yo. Let's turn it down just a little bit. I mean, that's kind of a lot, but for recording purposes, it's fine. Let's see. Yeah, that seems a little better. But that way the uh, background music and stuff won't get in the way of the... Uh, commentary. Not that I have much commentary, but, you know. What was I clicking on there? No, it's like an asteroid. Yeah, that's what it is. All these asteroids are funny, because they all, they all look the same, <laughs> and they're basically two-dimensional, because you can't really scroll around them. They're just, they stay in the same position. <laughs> anyway. We have... The solar system, but of course that's what it starts out with all the time. Ooh, what are these little bodies around it? Actually? More little asteroids. Neat. Anyway, let's start a new blank simulation. Let's try to make a solar system. It shouldn't be that difficult because everything's like auto orbited, but okay, let's put down a random star. Cap took. That's a cool name actually. Whoa, that's bright. Let me check out the temperature. Wow, that's 
way hotter than the sun. Oh, that's so bright. Ow. That's so bright. Anyway. And random exoplanet. Let's try to find the Goldilocks zone of this star. This would be way too close, but let's do it anyway. Oh, shh. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a little too close. I, 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 I would say that that's a little too close. <laughs> Surface temperature, 1400 Celsius. Yeah, that's a little warm. That's a little too hot for our purposes. So, little molten ball circling the sun. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> let's let's scoot the next one out a little bit. Maybe here. Okay, Kepler 732b. How are you? Oh, you're still way too hot. Holy cow! There is fire on the surface. That's still way too hot. I wonder what happens if I put a gas giant out there. This random gas giant. Let's put it right here. That kind of looked like it. Oh yeah, it's evaporating a bit away. That's cool. Um, is it losing mass? No. No, it's not losing any mass. It looks like it should be. It's kind of blowing away. Little particles. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like it should be losing mass. But it's not. Okay. <laughs> That is... yeah. It's still way too close. The solar wind on this star is so, like, powerful. It's crazy. Okay, this little gas giant, he's hanging in there, but, uh, should definitely be losing that. He's very pretty, too. Basically a comet by now. <laughs> Not really, but... You see the comparison. Anyway. Alright, let's try. We're still trying to find the Goldilocks zone of this star, but it's probably going to be way out here somewhere by now. Let's try there. What is your temperature now? Still way, way too hot. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> This star is so hot. Wow. Even this planet here is just so hot. There's no way liquid water could be there. We're gonna have to go way out, guys. We're gonna have to go, like, way out. Let's stick one, like, out here. See how that does. Uh, that is ice. That's definitely ice. So... Oh, wow. It's not very... Uh, it's not very much below freezing. Well, actually, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's above freezing, but barely. Um, but that can change. Because we can give it... An atmosphere. There we go. We can give it an atmosphere. And that should immediately begin to raise the temperature. Nice. Is that liquid yet? Or is that surface just silica? No. Ooh, that might be getting too hot. No, nope, it's slowing down. Yes, it's not slowing down much. 
<laughs> that's that's very warm. Let me just take a big bump off atmosphere the clouds. Just usually. I need to memorize these. There's a toggle. Where is it? Am I missing it? I think I probably missed it. Let's see, push the one up. <laughs> wow, that's very hot. That's way hot still. It's crazy. It's still climbing, but it's starting. Atmosphere thing is, but any, anyway, I'm pretty sure it's liquid water. It's just, it may even be starting to evaporate as hot as this place is. Sorry for the squeaky chair if you can hear that. Okay. Well, solid liquid level is the water. Let's turn the water down a little bit. Just, just a, oh god, not that much. Not up that much. There we go, we have land masses. <laughs> um, I doubt... Let me see here. There's an earth similarity, 89%. Okay. Hmm. That's probably because it's so warm. It's very, very hot. Um... Gonna have to put it out from the star a little bit further to make it Earth-like. So let's let's just put Earth itself out here because why not? See how it fares. Okay, it's it's good. Temperature's good. Still got solid water. It's good. Climb it on. Climb it off. Climb it on. Climb it off. Okay. Oh, I see. That's cool. Show atmosphere and show clouds. Okay. So that's... Huh. Why wasn't that an option on the other planet? A Annex. That's what he made. It's not an option here for some reason. That's weird. Should be. But anyway, Earth is hanging in there. And it's... Oh, it's actually a little cold. Um, a little colder than it should be. But still well within... Um, you know, good living range. Yeah, it, <laughs> ice has spread a little further down than... Um, before... But hey, Earth, you survived. You're good. Nice. So, <laughs> a very hot star. The Goldilocks zone is way further out. Um, because uh, our sun, by comparison, ours is like right here. This one's way further. Let me try to zoom in here. Get to the star. I feel like something happened to the middle. No, oh, okay. Never mind. Just souped out. It looked like it was a big molten mass there. But no. This one's still hanging in there. Still very hot. I don't remember what the mass was before. It might have lost a little bit. I'm not sure. It looks like it should be. <laughs> But yeah, I made a little solar system, and I've successfully plopped a planet down into like the liquid water zone. Which is exciting. That's not the right one. <laughs> that one's still uh, way too hot. This one. That's way out there. God. It still has liquid water. 
Now what if I removed the atmosphere as it is? already have one? Probably not. It should, but probably not. Oh, you're so pretty, Earth. Let's see, materials. Atmosphere. Show it. Oh, god. Wow. That's got a big magnetosphere. Wait, wait, wait. I, I was gonna say I'm gonna make a uh, a new one to show the eclipse that's happening uh, tomorrow, but I forgot there was an update and they already have one. So let's see. Can I view this in real time? Oh, well, never mind. Is there a way to view from the sur? Whoa, that's cool. I'm right here! <laughs> I'm gonna be right in the middle, it's gonna be awesome. Well, I'm like right... right here. Somewhere like that. I'm right in the path of totality. Let me restart it. And slow it down immediately. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Speed it up just. Oh, is it second to second? Oh, this is like. Is, is, it's close to real time. One second to second. What? I don't get how the time works, but anyway. One second to second. Let's speed it up. There it goes. Three minutes a second. Let's slow it down. Two, one, one second a second. One, one second a second. I'm not sure how how long the totality actually lasts. It's like five to ten minutes for the uh, complete eclipse, but an hour on either side. Something like that. Uh, here it's going to be local time 2.30, something like that. Wow, Earth, what has happened to your oceans? They've risen. Or receded. I don't really know. Either way. <laughs> Just watch the, the shadow go. Hee -hee. It goes, yay! Oh, calm down. Alright. Anyway. I'm so excited for the eclipse tomorrow, as everybody knew I would be. <laughs> I have my glasses, I have the ones that Vsauce provided, which is awesome. Zoom into the sun, sparkles. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, and thank you guys for watching.